Hey, Focus Wizards! In this quick update video, we're sharing the changes to our Focus installer on SageMaker Studio Lab. We've added two new tunneling options, Rock and Pingy, which means no more bandwidth limits. Here's how you can grab the new changes. Copy the URL to the GitHub repo and clone it to a folder in your SageMaker instance. If you already have the repo, it's enough to pull the new changes. To install and start the app, open a terminal in the repository folder and run sh start sh. When installation is complete, the launcher will ask you to select a tunnel. For the first example, we'll select option 1, Pingy. When Pingy starts up, it shows your temporary URL on the screen. Follow the URL and wait for Focus to start up. As soon as it's up and running, you can refresh the page and start creating your artwork. The options you chose for the launcher are saved in a file called data.json. To reset all settings, including the tunnel selection, run the command sh start sh reset. This time we'll select option 2, Zrock. If you don't have a Zrock account, you can create one from the launcher. We'll select yes here to create a new account. Enter your email in the two fields, press enter on the submit button, and check your email for the activation link. Now come up with a password and you'll get your token. Copy it for the next step. If you've lost your token, you can find it by signing into your Zrock account page. Back to SageMaker. The next step asks if you have a token. Select yes and paste your token here. Now Zrock should be activated and ready to run. Click your temporary link in the output. Wait for the page to start, and Focus is all set to create art. If you need to change your settings, you can also edit the file data.json to make small changes such as the tunnel selection or a Zrock token update. Finally, since the last video, we've added a sample config file that changes the default model Focus will use. You can replace the default config file and change the model to your liking. Now you don't have to let Juggernaut take up space anymore if it's not one of your favorite models. If you want to know more about managing models in disk space, check out this video here. We hope you enjoy the new changes. Thanks for watching and happy generating.